Oh, hello everybody. Hello, hello, hello. Another beautiful day here in the Gambia. As you can see, a little bit of clouds in the sky. A lot of mosquitoes around though. But it rained last night and the night before. So you guys can uh, prepare for the current couple of hurricanes that are coming your way, even one or two, uh, coming your way in about three weeks. Because it leaves this coast headed for the across the Atlantic, either the southern Caribbean and across Cuba or a little bit north and uh, Florida, Georgia, South and North Carolina, and up the East Coast, especially this time of the year, coming to October. Hey, New York and New Jersey are in for it. Nevertheless, uh, it's a beautiful day. It was a beautiful day. Still is. Uh, anyway, the weather, uh, I'm talking about the weather now, but There's something else uh, this video has to is is about to deal with. Um, sorry for the noises here, but uh, decided to get into the car and be more comfortable. The temperature outside is uh, upper 70s, close to 80. So I just turn on the AC in the car and. Uh, make my uh, speech here. Oh, last night, I saw a, a video from one of the YouTubers that I watch. And this video dealt with uh, a fire they had in their home in the Gambia electrical fire now my previous videos I all I, 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 I'm trying to follow this line in that people will come here to trying to get people to come come here and look at land if they plan to live in the Gambia begin with life in the Gambia and then follow a, a, a natural progression into other areas of life in the Gambia if you plan on living here or any part of Africa because in most of Africa the things that I'm talking about in Gambia is true you have your cultures you know like in Ghana Ashanti, Ewe, Nigeria you know it's you have the Muslim, Muslim North which has a little bit different culture to the Yoruba in the south and the area where my ancestors came from according to what I was told of Benin um, you have these areas you know where, where you have minor well cultural differences but the things that I want to talk about are things that I want to deal with throughout Africa. I began talking about the rainy season and uh, on the west the west of Africa, in West Africa, the rainy season is a hell of a thing if you're coming from America and, and, and never had to deal with this type of rain, this type of weather before. But I had to talk about this particular subject about the fire in her uh, his and her electrical system because it can be very dangerous and electrical systems here in the Gambia is not like electrical systems in the US there is no ground fault system in Gambia there's no professional um, electricians per se there's no you know there's there's a rule 
it might be a rule for electricians as a general. They're supposed to follow the international standard. But that's not the way it works. From the wiring to the power itself, you know, even though the power goes off here anytime, there is no fault system built into your power grid on your house to protect your house. And one of the things that the, 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 the person mentioned in their video in regards to the fire in the house is that they would touch the refrigerator and get shocked. So somewhere in their system, you have two wires touching each other. And one of those wires was a ground wire. You're getting bleed over from one system into the other. The ground, if you had a fault system on it, would go, would shut down your electrical system until you found the fault. But here, there's no ground fault. You don't even have a ground on your house. There are two wires going into your system, negative and positive. There is no ground. So I'm going to warn you, 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 you as a homeowner who is planning to build a house here in, in Africa, make sure you either find somebody and pay that person to come to Africa and inspect your wiring to make sure that that wiring is done correctly. If you're planning on living here or you study wiring, listen to what I'm telling you. You can go on YouTube and study wiring. You, it is, is, well, that was my field. And wiring in, in your house is very important because uh, if, if the people who, when they touch the handle in the refrigerator getting shot, didn't realize how dangerous that system was until the panel in the house, the main panel, burned up. Still, the system in the house is dangerous because you still have only two wires, positive and negative, no ground. Now, the other problem with the, that they face and may not realize it is that the walls in their houses are warped. Either it's from a perpendicular, well, okay, straight up, 90 degrees to the foundation. Your wall should be 90 degrees from the found, to the foundation. If it's not 90 degrees, if it is tilted in or out, as your house shifts, that happens in Gambia. One, because the foundations are badly built. You have four inches of concrete laid on the ground. This sand, cement, and <laughs> gravel laid on the ground. No rebar, nothing to strengthen that foundation. In the foundation itself, the part that lays on the mud, there is no rebar no plastic to keep the moisture out from coming into your house. So the walls during the rainy season are weakened. The blocks in Africa, you can punch a block and break it. So all of these things contribute to a bad build for a house. And when your house begins to shift, everything inside the walls and the floors shift. It can damage the wiring. The other problem is that you have 
Number three or four rebar. Listen to me carefully. Number three or number four rebar in the walls and foundation of your house. That type of rebar should be used in the sidewalk, not in the flooring of your house. I have gone to a house and see where the, the floors are so bad the tiles just popped off the floor and the second floor is falling into the first the ground floor the first floor you can look up and see the second floor just caving in when I looked at the house and I said uh, I told the owner are you gonna fix this he said yes um, I called the, uh, the repair guy and about two hours later, he called, he called me back and says, uh, the repair guy says it's going to cost $50,000 to fix it. Do, do, do the work that um, I wanted done on the house because I would think about renting the house. From my experience, and I'm not a professional builder, it would have cost the minimum of $1 million to make that house livable. And here's this person he called going to charge $50,000. Then he wanted me to pay the $50,000 to have the house repaired so I can live in it. Listen, I am going to get criticized by everybody for this. But I'm telling you, if you don't have a knowledge of building houses and you can't find someone who is going to watch your builder carefully and make that builder do what you're supposed to do do not come to live in Gambia the house that you're going to be renting is substandard and it may fall on you right now I'm renting a house with one floor because I, I even though I like houses with two floors I'm scared to buy it to, 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 before I build one myself to live in one here because I might be walking across the floor and fall right through. Any house in Gambia older than 10 years old is in danger. I don't hate Gambia, but I'm telling you the facts. And if you plan on coming here to live, this will help you to prepare yourself when you arrive. I'm going to continue to build on this subject as time passes but I just want to get this tape out very quickly so that people better start to listen because people are now going to start coming to Gambia now that rainy season is over everybody's going to rush here to buy some land but you should come here to buy land during the rainy season so that you know how to <laughs> you, you're going to build a, you're going to buy some land and then you can't act, get access to your land because the rain the roads are flooded look at the arrival video of them trying to repair their road so they can get access to their house that they're building it's a good video to watch watch it and learn do not come to Africa if you can't deal with this, you're going to have to be responsible. You can't just pay a builder to go build a house for you like you do in America. The standards in America, you have an inspector coming out to your house to look at it. It's not here in Gambia. You are responsible. And you're going to spend $3 million to build a house. And God forbid that house falls on you. I haven't heard it from anybody yet, but I hope it doesn't happen. Anyway, I'm going to continue this subject um, in the process of time. And I hope everybody gains something from the information I provide. But come to Gambia. Come prepared. Come prepared. Come for a visit. Come and look around. If you decide you want to live here, prepare to do it safely. Have a great day wherever you are.
Peace.